we've come to Mokos HQ to answer the question of, is a clean chain more efficient than a dirty chain? And if so, by how much? And to help us out today, we've got Lewis from the R&D team, who's actually in charge of optimizing the chains himself. So he handles the chains that riders such as Egan Bernal and Filippo Ganna have used. So let's head down and see what we've got. Right, we're at Markov's R&D Center to test the difference between a clean chain and a dirty chain. Lewis is here, he's gonna help me out. So I bought in my nice dirty chain from home. Cool. This is actually off my girlfriend's bike and it's been ridden for maybe like 200 miles or so. Okay. So I think what we need to do is get this dirty chain onto the dyno so we've got a clear baseline reading of what we've got to work with. Yep. And then you're gonna give it a thorough clean, aren't you? Over at the uh, yep. ultrasonic bath. Yeah. And then we're gonna remeasure it to see what the difference is between the clean chain and the dirty chain. So um, this is for you. Thank you very much. Um, you can do all the hard work. And, cool. um, we're gonna clean goes. up and yeah. ready to go. We got the dyno running, but I don't mean dyno as in dinosaur. So here at Mokoff's cutting edge research facility, they have what's called a chain dynameter, a tool that can measure the resistance and friction losses generated by our chains and is able to measure as accurately as five thousandths of a watt. The first thing that strikes me is we've got no rear derailleur on here. No, so we've just taken the raw components of the, the rear block and the, the front chain rings. Just, we're just purely measuring the chain itself. So we're gonna keep those the components chain. the same, aren't we? They're yeah. the same on, on most bikes, but uh, yeah, no mech. And you were saying you were surprised it's not as dirty as you thought I might have bought. It's not as dirty yeah. as I thought, but I can definitely hear that there's not much going on in those rollers and those pins. Yeah, I mean, I've only been difference. here for a little bit of time and I can say that is quite noisy, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously you know far more than me. Yeah. So we'll leave this running for what we're gonna do, 10 minutes we're or so? We're gonna go 10 to 15 minutes yeah, so okay. that's a good measurement. It's either gonna keep going down or it's just gonna level out and then we're gonna take it off, give it a good clean and leave and go from there. Cool, give well, I'm intrigued to come and have a look at the computer. What we got? So. At what moment, is that? So this is 5.4 watts. Is a loss of power. Not that bad, to yeah. be fair. Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't sound that bad. For, for an old chain, this, this, well, it's not that old, yeah. um, but a chain that's done a bit of work um, yeah. and it's not overly clean. That's that's not bad, to be fair. So what we got going, what power we got going in? We've got around 250 to 300 watts yeah. going around that. Um, so I would it's say it's more probably, than your average rider, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, I would say it's a, a keen cyclist. Yeah. And at the moment, that's obviously just keeping it as a linear thing. And we can see this is obviously, is this live as we're recording? So yeah, this is live, this side here. These are chain tests that we've done before. Yeah. Uh, but this is live going in. It's measuring okay. every 25 seconds. Yeah. And we can change that. We can, we can measure it down to five seconds. Yeah. But 25 seconds is giving you a good data point every time. Uh, and we get plenty of data from that. And we can work from there. I'm intrigued to see how it goes after you saying, although it's worn and a bit noisy, yeah. it's not too bad, is it? No, it's not too bad at all. I'm intrigued to see what you can Hopefully work with Hopefully we can get here. some more out of yeah, that. Yeah, nice. Definitely. Cool, so there we go. We've done our 10 minutes measurement. What, uh, what are we at so far? Give us some numbers. So, you're losing five watts on this chain at That's the not too bad, is it? Not too bad, but you possibly have cheated a little bit. It's not that dirty. It wasn't the filthiest <laughs> chain, was it? Not really, but let's, uh, let's give it a good Because as you know, I, you should know, I do maintain my bikes very well. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Of course. So we're going to get this cleaned up next. Yep. Uh, so in the ultrasonic bath, and we'll leave that for how long? We're going to do 10 minutes either side. So deep, deep clean, and we'll see what we can get out of this chain. Cool, come on. I'll lift that up for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> in it goes. So last little bit, we'll just give it a last little scrub. It's come out of the tank. It's been in there 20 minutes. Should be nice and clean now. So what we're going to do, rinse this off with a bit of fresh water, yeah. airline it off, then we're going to go put it in the oven. So this is your chain, all clean, all dry. Yeah. If you hold your ear quite close to this, and you can actually hear, oh, can hear it. the rollers and the pins in between. So there's oh, no, rattly. 
That's a very yeah. clean, very clean chain. Uh, nothing in there, no dirt. So grit, that's why it's rats in it. There's no lubrication. Yeah. So there's space. Yeah. Okay. Space. For the for the lube to sit in now. Nice. Right, so we're gonna lube this chain. I'm just gonna get my magic plank. This is the most low-tech bit of equipment we have in here. Yeah. But the history that comes with this plank is phenomenal. So this is just a bit of wood. Just a bit of wood. This is the <laughs> lube-in plank. Okay. So this tell me seen... through, what do you do on this? We're gonna lay the chain out. Yeah. So you say solid. this is the most low-tech bit of kit that you've had here for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So every chain goes on this. Every chain goes on this from Bradley Wiggins' hour record, Garner's chain from the Giro this year. Yeah. When he smashed everybody by 10 seconds. So his actual chain and the Wiggins' hour record chain have been on this piece of wood. Yep. Every chain that goes through this R&D unit in here sees this bit of chain. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Um, are we going to lube this up? So we're going to lube this chain up, lay it out nice and flat. We're going to do each individual roller, yep. one side, then we're going to flip it and do the other side. And the chain lube we're using is so we're going to the use our muck off wet lube, because I did tell you earlier, that was what we have in the original. That's it. Yep. We want a like, fair Certainly comparison, fair test. don't we? Yeah. So we've got our super clean chain back on the dyno after uh, Lewis has given a good going over. And what sort of readings have we got so far? At the minute, we've got about a half of what's saving, which is actually quite good, even though we compressed the, the cleaning process. Yeah, we've not process. spent forever on it, have we? No, we haven't got hours, unfortunately, today. So it's still a good improvement. Not bad, But like, half you, of what? like you said earlier, I did kind of cheat slightly and yep, gave definitely. you a relatively clean chain. Yeah, yeah, definitely cheated on that one. But I've got something up my sleeve. We've got this very, very dirty chain. That is very dirty, isn't it? Is this on your bike? Unfortunately, I don't want to say yes, but yes, yeah, off my bike. Okay. Last couple of weeks. So we're going to measure the efficiency of this. Yep. And then what we'll do, we'll give that a thorough clean and see the sort of differences we can make. Because yep. I guess that's representative of a chain that someone really hasn't cared for. So yep, this is a week or two weeks, maybe. Exactly. Fair yeah. few rides. Yep. So we've got this filthy chain that I've been yeah. riding. Uh, we've got it on the dyno, yeah. and we're going to see where we get with the numbers. Hopefully you'll hear how dirty it is as well. Oh, that sounds rough, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the sort of noise that reminds me of um, like your winter training rides. Yeah, yeah. When everyone's out grinding round, you've got a filthy chain, and towards the end of your, I don't know, couple of hour ride, yeah. you're riding uphill and you can hear everything wearing away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've had this machine running for a few minutes now, and this is running at about an eight watt loss in efficiency. Yeah, yeah. So this is a fairly dirty chain. So compared Delphi. to my idea of a dirty chain, which I bought in, that was about 5.8, 5.1 watts. 5.1, yeah. So quick maths off the top of my head, obviously. Yeah. Um, it's about 50% worse off. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. this filthy dirty chain, which is a big change, isn't it? It's huge. In huge terms change. of, yeah, like percentage, that's a monumental difference. Massive. Yeah, massive, so that's massive. the difference between riding a bit slower or going considerably faster, faster. for less effort. Yep. Cool. Almost like free speed. We then cleaned up that filthy chain to find out how much better it could run. So Lewis, we finished running our super clean chain, so I yeah. left that with you guys. And this is what's come out of the ultrasonic cleaner, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, so this is the fluid. This is the uh, drivetrain cleaner that that chain went in. Yeah. And you can see that a lot of the dirt, grime, road grime has settled at the bottom. So doesn't look very nice, does it? But the chain disgusting. is looking good and clean on there. So yeah, we yeah. just finished running that on the uh, dyno and the efficiency machine. Yep. And also, before we dive into the results, which we've got here, we need to point out that this was just the, uh, the, wet loop. the standard wet loop. That was yep. what was on all the chains to start with. And you haven't cheated. You've just used no, this straight away again. So you haven't used loop. anything too fancy. No, no, no. So we've got the results here, which you've kindly printed out for us. Yep. So the first thing we looked at was the chain that I bought in. And after treating it, lubricating it, we've improved the efficiency of the chain that I bought to you yep. by 9.5%. Yeah, so that's yeah. quite a good, that's quite a good saving. But you did point out I kind of cheated a little bit. It wasn't yep. that dirty, was no. it? Yep. So what have we got here? This was our dirty chain. So this was it? our mega, mega dirty chain. Yeah. It was disgusting. Yeah. Uh, that I'm not very proud of that I did. <laughs> but uh, so with a, with a good clean, um, we've managed to save 38%. So that's a huge improvement, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So obviously that was, like we were saying, is the sort of chain when you're out on your winter rides and it gets covered yeah. in muck and you can Road feel it all grime and sand, grit. So that is a huge improvement, isn't it? 38%. Yeah. And in terms of a rough estimate of the realms of those sort of power losses that this chain's now at, 
you're sort of under five watts. So we're around, around about 4.6 watts, which is yeah. super efficient, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you say, you could already continue to improve that. But you can get more out of that. Yeah, you could spend more time cleaning it. Definitely. We could run it on the equipment for longer. And of course, you could use a lot more of your super fancy lube yeah, that yeah. you've got, which will again improve the efficiency even further. So yeah. as a baseline figure, that's a good Not bad at all. Yeah, nice there work. is more to come. More to come. Definitely. Nice. So there you have it. Lewis and I have proven by the power of science that a clean chain is far more efficient than a dirty one. If you've liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and let us know in the comments section down below if you're going to go and clean your chain now. That's it from us. See you later. Cheers, guys.